Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be continuing with our, uh, I guess our extreme parallel experiment going on here. Um, I just took the uh, voltage of the whole battery system now, and it is at 13.35 volts. What I wanna do today is I'm going to grab a uh, 20 amp 12 volt charger that is specific for lithium iron phosphate. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right onto the fuse block. So that way it distributes throughout the batteries. And we're going to go ahead and measure what the amperage is that goes to each battery. And if, it, if I have enough time, um, I'm hoping that at least one of these batteries will get all the way to full. And so we can kind of see if uh, you know if one battery shuts off and then the amperage flows to other batteries, uh, just kind of see you know what happens when when they reach uh, full capacity. So let's go to it. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp the alligator clips onto the posts. And I don't know if I said it or not, but this is a 30 amp charger. So this will be a pretty good experiment on um, if it will distribute it out the way I think it should, no battery should get over 20 amps or 15 for that matter. All right, I just, uh, I just plugged in. Uh, how about I put some glasses on with my face right next to this thing? I just plugged in the charger, so let's see what we're working with. Zero out the amps. Right now we are pulling 26.6 amps. We are pushing 26 point, well, 26.5 amps into our battery bank. And this small battery is getting five amps. The 100 amp is getting 8.8, .8, almost 8.9. And the big battery is getting 10.9, almost, well, it's getting 11 now. All right, voltages. Start with this guy. Voltage is 13.65. This battery over here is 13.58. And then this battery over here is 13.56. So this battery is, it seems like it's charging faster. Because the voltage is much higher on this one now. So you would think that the amperage would get lower and lower and lower. Let's see what we're looking at for amperage. Yeah, the amperage is a uh, one point. The amperage is going down. It's down to 1.33, 1.31. Yeah, the amperage to this battery is going down. This battery. The amperage on the 100 amp battery is actually rising. It's going to 8.8. .8 3, 8.85, 8.9. So the amperage on this one is actually going up. And the amperage on the big one, is, I wanna say it's holding steady at 10.5. And actually it might be going down as well. This one is still at 9.7. And the big battery is now at eight. So this one is actually pulling more amperage from the charger. At 9.7, this one was eight, and this one was what, 0.6? Or 0.7. So this one is almost done. And the charger itself 
is now pushing almost 19 amps into the battery bank. All right, and our voltages. Voltage is 13.74. For the 100 amp, it is 13.64. And for the big battery, 13.69. All right, uh, I'm just gonna take the, the amperage of these again and the charger is pushing 17 and a half amps out of 17 and a half uh, the 50 amp battery is getting 0.37 amps out of it the big 275 amp hour battery is getting 1.85 amps so that means that this 100 amp battery yeah it's getting 15.44 amps So even though this battery bank was sitting like this in parallel for 24 hours, this one is still accepting a lot more charge than the 50 amp and the 275 amp. I find that very strange. The small battery is 13.89. The big battery is... 13.89 but this 100 amp battery is still trying to catch up it's only 13.74 okay um, let's go ahead and take the the voltages again of this of this bank because I noticed that the green light on the charger uh, it went from red to green, so that means that we're getting close. The voltage of the 50 amp battery is 14.06. The 275 amp battery is 14.05. And the 100 amp Uniwix battery is 13.99. So they're all getting a lot closer now. And at the uh, fuse block terminals, it's at 14.11. See, our amperage of the battery, the battery charger is at uh, 8.5. And there is 6.2 still going into the 100 amp battery. There is 1.7 going into the SunFun Kits battery. And there is 0.47 going into the 50 amp ampere time battery. So there's still 80% of, the, uh, of the amperage is still going into this 100 amp battery. All right, the charger just turned off. This battery, the 100 amp battery is at 14.16. The 275 amp battery is 14.16 and the 50 amp battery is 14.16 so all of them have the exact same voltage let's see if there's any amperage being shared between them zero it out uh, there is zero amps going in this Zero amps going here. I mean, we're talking like 0.12 going here. Negative 0.1 coming from there. So they're all trying to even out. And the voltage at the block, it's 14.02. Uh, and at the batteries, they're probably all 14.02 as well. Yep, 14.02, 14.04, and 13.99. Yeah, so they're, it's starting to put more juice into this one now. 2.52, actually it's 2.43 amps going into this battery. 
So again, they're all trying to even themselves out. But since this battery charger did turn off, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let these just settle back down, get, uh, get it so all the voltages are the same to all the batteries. And then tomorrow, I'm probably going to go ahead and do a discharge test. And since the reasoning behind all this is to do slow charges and slow discharges, I'm going to go ahead and use this to test my discharge rate. Um, I mean, this is probably going to take a long time because if you add these all up, this is a 425 amp hour battery bank. And, uh, and doing the test with this will take quite a long time. So tomorrow night, I'll probably start it and let it run all the way through the night and through most of the day. And uh, we'll see if we actually get somewhere close to 425 amp hours. So I guess I just want to say thanks for uh, watching this video. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, um, please leave them in the comments. And um, I hope to see you at our discharge test. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.